other folks, Alicia here. A couple things before we start. First, a lot of highway noise behind me. I hope it doesn't interfere with this session. And second thing, this bad boy is on foam. I've got this uh, $400 fiberglass canoe that my hubby and I use to paddle the lakes around here, um, but it is sitting on foam, so don't worry, I'm not damaging this guy. This is five exercises or mobility moves you can do in a canoe to help make your paddle days feel better. And we're gonna start right from the get-go. I would encourage you to take a break and do these once an hour when you're paddling. Um, they're gonna prolong how long you can paddle per day and they're gonna make you feel really good when you get off the water at night. As always, if one of these doesn't work for you, replace it with a different exercise and only do it to the extent that you can comfortably. With that out of the way, let's get started. The first move I love doing is a gunnel grab and lean. Let your partner know that you're doing this because it might shift the canoe slightly. You want to shift your hips to one side of your canoe and reach towards the gunnels on the other side. Now this boat is very wide, um, but no matter how wide your boat is, you can certainly grab with that forward hand, shift your weight with the opposite hip, and you should get a nice stretch through the lats and maybe even down through the butt on the outside. You're trying to make a bit of a C shape here. And you can breathe through this for a few breaths. And of course, do it on both sides. Now that's gonna relax those lats that you've been using a lot of during your paddle stroke. We also wanna stretch out the chest. And for this, there's a couple options. Option one is simply bringing your hands back behind you until you feel a stretch through your pecs. And you kind of wanna bring your ribs down, crunch your core so that you are hitting this area. Um, the second thing you can do is use that paddle you have, take your hands nice and wide and go up overhead until you start to feel a stretch. Now, a lot of people might crunch their shoulders up scrunch them up to try and get all the way around, I would recommend instead that you keep your shoulders down away from your ears and then come up until you start to feel a gentle stretch across the pecs. Again, remember to keep the ribs down. Hold that stretch. All it's gonna take is 20 or 30 seconds to relax those muscles that have been working hard as you're in this closed position to paddle. The third thing I like to do, now this Depends a little bit about which seat you're sitting in, um, but I really like to do a little extension through the hips. So I will lean back and then squeeze my butt so I lift it off the seat. Works really good for me here in the back. Um, and it even worked on the really skinny boat that I also use. Uh, the reason that that's good is because we're in this closed position as we're paddling and that can lead to a fair bit of tightness through the front of the hip. So it's always nice to bring it in to full extension. You could also, depending on what river you're canoeing um, and what boat you're in, tuck a knee back behind you so that you can get a little bit more straightness through this hip or hip extension, I should say, and alternate which knee is forward and which is back as you are paddling. That's gonna help you not get quite as much shortening through there as you paddle throughout the day. My fourth favorite exercise to stretch out when I'm in the boat has to do with my wrists and hands. These guys are gripping all throughout the day, so it's important to counteract that. The first way to counteract that is hands together in the middle, elbows high, and just come down until you feel a stretch across this part of your forearm. It's a really nice break and sometimes I will even rotate those hands a little bit just to get to a, ooh, a spot where I have a nice deep stretch and I'm just gonna hang out there for a few minutes. Not for a few minutes, I'm gonna hang out there for about 30 seconds at a time. If I'm very flexible, I can also push through one hand just to intensify the stretch on this side and then take a turn pushing through this hand to intensify the stretch the other direction. And then finally, we're also talking about another grip exercise here. I like to take my fingers back and I find that that just does a nice stretch across the hands. These little muscles are working a lot as we're paddling, so it's good to show them some love. So to review, these stretches helped us with our lats, 
our hip flexors, our forearms, our shoulders and pecs, and our fingers as well. And if you do these a couple few times through the day, even once an hour if you want, they're really gonna help prolong your paddling day and make you feel better when you get to camp at the end of the day. All right, I hope you have a wilder paddle and I hope you use some of these next time you're on the water.